or you having trouble playing games in full screen. While not a common issue for most PC gamers, this problem can become very annoying, especially if you badly want to enjoy a bigger monitor space to enjoy your games. In this guide, we'll give you the fixes that you can try if your games won't run in full screen for some reason. Keeping the software environment of your PC is very important, especially if you play games. You want to ensure that your games, Windows OS, other apps and drivers are running their latest version all the time. Speaking of drivers, make sure that you install the latest graphics drivers all the time to lessen the chances of bugs. Some games may crash or won't load if your computer's display scaling is set to something lower than 100%. Make sure the display scaling is properly set to its default percentage 100% before running your game again. Here's how, press the Windows key on the keyboard or the start button on the lower left portion of the screen. Navigate to Settings, go to System, click on Display. Make sure to change the size of text, apps, and other items, and set each of them to 100%. Click Apply. You may be asked to sign out of your Microsoft account and sign back in, before the changes take effect. Afterwards, load the game again and see if it can play in full screen mode. Some older games have a separate config file or configuration file that a user can manipulate to change display settings. If your game has a config file that you can access, try to see if you can reconfigure it to load in windowed mode, instead of the default full screen mode. If you have a multiple monitor setup, try to see if changing your main screen will allow running the game on full screen. To select the screen that you want, here's how. Press the Windows key on the keyboard or the start button on the lower left portion of the screen. Navigate to settings. Go to System, click on Display. In the Display Settings screen, click on the Identify button. A number should be displayed on your screens. Make sure to select the numbered monitor that you want to use as the new main screen. Once you've selected the new monitor, scroll down to the Multiple Displays section and make sure that you put a check mark on the box that says Make this my main display. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can consider changing some settings to desktop size and position in the NVIDIA Control Panel app. Here's how. Launch NVIDIA Control Panel app. Navigate to Display. Then, adjust desktop size and position. Under Apply the following settings section, in the Scaling tab, select No Scaling. Click Apply. If you have an Intel graphics, as well as a discrete NVIDIA card, you can also set your PC to use the NVIDIA graphics card instead of the Intel one. If your game still won't play in full screen mode, you can also try to use legacy components of Windows to see if that will. Help here's what you must do. Press the Windows key on the keyboard or the start button on the lower left portion of the screen. Type in Turn Windows Feature On and Off, and open the Turn Windows Feature On and Off. In the Windows Features screen, find Legacy Components and put a check mark beside it. Then, click the plus sign in the box of Legacy Components and enable Direct Play. Click OK to save the changes, play your game and check if it now plays in full screen. If the game you're playing is several years old, it may not be optimized to play with Windows 10. You'll have to make sure that you run it in compatibility mode, so it works properly. Here's how to do that. Find the shortcut of the game you're having a problem with, and right-click on it. Select Properties. Go to Compatibility tab and check Run this program in compatibility mode for an option. Select the desired version of Windows. Click on Apply and OK to save changes. That's it. We hope this video is helpful to you. We would appreciate it if you can like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.